All right, YouTube, welcome to the Performance Firearms channel, and today we are talking tripods. All right, I got two different setups to show you. Uh, we're gonna start off with the first one. This is the carrying case. Pretty small, pretty light, pretty awesome carrying case. We're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. All right, and here it is, all right. So this tripod is the Desmond 432 tripod with the Desmond DB uh, 46 head. It's a pretty awesome tripod, pretty lightweight, doesn't weigh nothing. All right, pretty sturdy, it's made out of eight ply carbon fiber and aluminum. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. And the way you do it, the reverse folding legs, and you'll hear the clicks. All right, and then the head will spin down. All right, so some of the features that this has, it's a Arca Swiss mount uh, head, which is pretty awesome. Uh, that comes with um, it has the turn locking system for the legs and for the stem one of the cool features about this that I really like this tripod and it's quickly becoming my favorite tripod um, is the legs all right so most tripods you have to buy the spike adapters or you have to yeah either they come with the spike adapters or you have to buy them separately and then you have to switch them out every time you want them. What I like about these is that this right here, you don't have to switch out. You want to use the spikes, you pull out, you get the spikes. Put them back in. All right, simple and easy. Don't have to worry about it. if I brought it with me, if I have the tool to change it, if I lost one, it's, it's just there. All right, <clears throat> this tripod's, let's go through some of the specs here uh, real quick. So you have... It is doo -doo 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 -doo, where is it? Eight ply carbon fiber, uh, maximum height of seventy two inches. So when you go like that, and you extend all the legs, all right? I think I think when you extend all the legs on this one, you get like fifty nine inches, and then with the stem you get the seventy two. Um, so pretty high, pretty sturdy, pretty awesome. All right, one of the other things that I like about this tripod is that you can turn it into a monopod by spinning. One of the legs has a foam on it. You can spin that. And if you needed to use a monopod, you have a monopod. All right, and then you can just put it back. Um, so other than, it has a, a hook right here to add some weighted stuff that comes down. Um, not as big as the other tripods, but it's still, it's still there. It still holds the weight. All right, so let's, uh, let's open this puppy up. Also guys, I know that carbon fiber is super expensive. If you look at carbon fiber tripods, they're pretty pricey. So I got this one from Amazon for, for, um, for $239. Um, that's what I'm looking at right now for all the specs. Um, and they still have like 16 available. So if you go to, here you guys go. $239 from Amazon Prime, all right, or Amazon. Um, so you, when you get a tripod, guys, you want to get a head that can withstand the weight, all right? Don't cheap out on the head. This one's already a package, and the head holds 75 pounds. The tripod itself is rated for 55 pounds of weight on it, which is pretty strong compared to some of the other tripods, all right? And then what you want to go ahead and do is so this one has the uh, Arca Swiss mount adapter, M-lock adapter from Really Right Stuff. And what you do is just slide that puppy on there and then tighten it down. Just tighten the handle. And so you can tell I have the ball with uh, almost no pressure and it's, it moves freely. And then when you lock it down, it just stays. So it stays there. It's, sorry, the tripod's over here. I'm, uh, there we go. So it stays, it spins, we're good. All right, pretty stable. Pretty, pretty stable, pretty adjustable, pretty quick. And it's pretty awesome. So that's one of my tripod setups. You're looking at 50 bucks for the Arca Swiss mount. You're looking at 230, 240 bucks plus shipping if you have Amazon or you don't have Amazon Prime. Um, so that's pretty awesome. And this comes in at under four pounds. So it's pretty awesome if you're have to uh, carry gear especially for the PRS you got to carry most of the gear with you from stage to stage and it comes in a nice 
nice bag that you can keep it in to help carry it. All right, guys. So I'm gonna switch off and we're gonna <clears throat> do the other tripod right now. Alrighty. So now, guys, this brings us to our other tripod setup. Um, this is from uh, Shadow Tech LLC, which is the makers of the Hog Saddle and Pig Saddle. Um, this is an aluminum tripod. Uh, it's pretty sturdy, pretty nice tripod, comes in green. Um, unfortunately, this is the smallest configuration that you can fold it. So this is the smallest it gets right here, all right? So we're gonna open it up and then we're gonna, this is the length of the legs. The legs have a, a pin and then you, you slide them out and then you lock them down, all right? So I don't know, this has a little bit higher, maybe <clears throat> slightly higher um, length than the Desmond. All right, it's slightly heavier. This one's, I believe around seven pounds when I measured it with with this head this is a Vanguard um, a Vanguard head holds about what, like 74 75 pounds uh, head and then of course with the hog saddle um, this has a hook as well to hold your stuff the stem on this one is a little shorter so you only get about that much height but it's really really this is a really nice tripod um, the way you angle the legs, it's got a little detent here. So if you bring it out one, it gets you that much. You bring it out a little bit more, it goes that way. So <clears throat> that's the way the legs are interchangeable. Um, they do come with the spikes, but again, like I said previously, you have to unscrew these and then you have to install the spikes. So you have to make sure you have the spikes with you uh, and, and all that. All right. And then, so I don't know if you guys can see the tripod there. We'll, it up. All right, so this is this is the pig saddle. It's got the pig saddle setup, uh, which is what I used for a really, really, really long time um, when it came to shooting. I used the pig saddle over that, and I still I'm still debating on what I'm going to use more because this one you can find the balance point of the rifle and then just lock it down, so it puts less stress on you and the equipment to all right there's a little bit of wiggle but that's the head from this head is old and beat up so it's got a little bit of play in it but other than that it's pretty pretty sturdy you can get on here adjust your cat your elevation your height and then lock it down and it's pretty good all right the hog saddle is good uh i'm gonna probably use this setup like this on the carbon fiber tripod for competition due to the fact that this has a better balancing point. Plus I use the hog saddle for pretty much anything from filming to um, my um, my spotting scope. So the hog saddle is a really good addition guys. Um, so I suggest you get that. The price point on this tripod, if you were to break it down, the tripod retails for 138 I believe um, then you're looking at I believe this head which is not the best head to get um, you I mean I would rather get the Dismon and that's why I got the Dismon originally was for this one and then I decided to go with the full package um, this head is not that great uh, it's a little heavy so I wish I would have gotten with either the Desmond 46 or the Desmond uh, DB 52 uh, which is a lot cheaper. This head cost me a hundred bucks uh, about two and a half years ago and That head by itself is 69 bucks holds the exact same amount of weight and it's lighter um, but um, I didn't know at the time and I wanted a tripod so this did it it did its duty It did it held up as you can tell the knobs are crooked. This knob is like all beat up and and crooked and it it basically lived in the back of my truck for the last two years, pulled it out for matches, threw it around, uh, it, it took a beating. The head and the the hog saddle. This is a brand new hog saddle. The original one I had, the rubber ones, were, the rubber pieces on the inside were coming loose. And um, I contacted hog saddle and they sent me a new one. I sent them back mine, they sent me a new one and they sent me the tripod uh, for, for testing. And I like it. It's a really good setup. 
so it's it's kind of the same setup that I had before um, and it's a good setup uh, I just wanted something lighter uh, with carbon fiber so it's a good place to start guys you're looking at if you probably you can probably get this set up uh, for about 300 bucks and it's not a bad setup you definitely want to get the hog saddle regardless if you get the uh, the tripod or not uh, the hog saddle is a must though. Um, at least the hog saddle if you can afford the pig I'm um, sorry the, the pig saddle which is this one is a must um, you can also get the hog saddle if you can afford it uh, unfortunately I'm on a tight budget right now so I couldn't afford that all right guys so check out I'll leave a link to description below to all these uh, different tripods and where you can find them so um, if you have any any questions go ahead and uh, send me a message comment below um, and I'll see you at the range guys